Okay, so walking bird to the right. Flying over here. All right, Kirsten. Before we pop anything, we walk it. So we're starting bird here. We are in bird. Okay. Now we will, hands again. And we'll walk to front first. So I'm simply going, when I take this foot away, it pours a lot of weight into your hand. So let's take this foot away first here. When I take this foot away, it pours a lot of weight into the hand. So you gotta push, 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 right? So I take that foot away. You can open your uh, feet out a bit, but then I can slowly start walking. I don't actually have to take my whole foot away. I can just kind of walk them down, slide them like that. Mm -hmm. um, remember when it's thrown, it's not the front of the legs, it's underneath the legs with my toes there. And then from there, here, so you can wrap, wrap your feet around, hook those feet around the shin. And now when I take, wiggle this foot, you have to press on this hand now. It shifts the weight, right? Mm -hmm. so coming over. And then once here, watch, I lower my leg so it helps you get your shoulder up, your body stacked. Then I press up. And then you're safe here, okay? So you know point B is this thrown. Thrown means that you're no longer in a horizontal bird position. You're now upright. So when I when we do the pop, you're going from a horizontal, then you have to tuck your legs in into this thrown position. So you're bending at the waist, bring your legs forward, and then bringing your upper body back. Into it. So we have to be very clear about what point B is before we even start with point A, okay? So going back to bird, hands, leaning forward, here's the scary part. You lean forward, my arms are stacked so you have support. You unwrap, then I'll slowly slide a foot towards your hip bone. I'm going to find that hip bone with my, the balls of my feet. Same on this side. My arms are always stacked, they'll never be on here so you're falling forward. Their wrists are stacked right above my shoulders, strong so you can push off. Okay, now we're starting back from point a, which was bird, right? Okay, now with the pop, hands please. Now with the pop, if you're a dude, as a flyer, you could get racked really hard here. Mm -hmm. So, I don't recommend flying this if you're a guy on a brand new base. Um, I imagine you could get kicked there as a, as a woman too, and that's not, as, that's not enjoyable either, but for a guy especially, be really careful. Now for you, Kirsten, if I pop you and I miss, let's say I miss, my feet slip out, you're simply going to land on the ground because we're going from a horizontal to an upright position. So it's actually very safe, this pop, as long as the person is popping you from here and they don't have their wrist over here. If they pop you and you're way over there, you could definitely get hurt. That's why, I'm, as the base, my arms, basic principle, over and over again, my wrists are right above my shoulders and stacked. And there, or even slightly back, will be safer. But for you as a flyer, if, if I miss, you're simply going to bring your feet out and you're going to land on your feet. Okay? And back in. So now imagine point B. Let's focus on the things that we can do to create a, make it happen. Okay? First things first is, I would say, when you go where you look. So when I give you a pop and you're still looking down, your torso is going to fold forward. You want to look forward or even up depending on what you feel comfortable with. Because when I pop you and you're looking up, you're bringing your whole body back up into the upright position. Then you have to open your feet out. As soon as you feel my feet underneath your legs, you wrap them around for that extra measure of safety when you're wrapping around, okay? So my arms are stacked. Um, when I bend my legs, I'm gonna bend my arms just slightly too, and then I'm gonna pop everything together, and then you'll bring your feet out and wrap them in front of my shins. One, two, and boom, and wrap. I let her wrap first and then I press up. So that gives her a chance to get her body upright. Coming back on, hands. Let's do that one more time. Feet are walking out towards the hip bone. Arms are stacked. Again, one, two, and pop. And wrap. Pop, a pop or give. A, I'm thinking as I'm popping, I have to pop my thighs up, I'm popping them through the ceiling. A big pop gave her enough flow. My arms are stacked. I catch, absorb some of that weight. Let her wrap. Once she's wrapped and upright, then I'll press up. One more time. Coming out. Stacked. I'm going to bend together and then pop up. One, two, pop. I catch, I absorb the weight. She wraps, and then I press up. And I'll keep my hands here because throwing is very dangerous. 
for the fly falling forward. So my hands, as I pop, I still keep them here. Still keep them there until I feel really, really solid. Super. Unwrap. Go.